Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is a pretty sizable firmware update that's in beta for the Grandstream GCC series. So if you don't remember what the GCC series is, it's a converged appliance that has uh, a router, an advanced firewall, a PBX, and it manages endpoints and things like that. And it was already pretty awesome. And this firmware update, which by the way is beta, but Grandstream allows us to talk about these things so that people can try them. Do not try this in production. Um, and if you do, I mean, I can't stop you, but typically we test these things in a lab before we loose them out into the wild. But uh, take a look at some of the things that they are, they are adding here. So we now have an overall operation log. And I'm going to show that to you here in just a second. Sorry about that, getting some of the winter, winter crud. I've got some stuff going on here. But so now we have an operation log, and it doesn't matter what module that you uh, make changes in, it is all going to be logged under the operation log. The other thing that they have added is they have now added under backup and restore, we can now do scheduled backups, which is absolutely fantastic. They've added an MTA method for emailing. They have now added load balancing strategies. And so what does that really, what does that really mean for you, right? So if we come in here and we take a look at the policy routing and policy routes, we can now take certain types of um, protocols, groups, things like that, um, destinations, and, and we can, um, manipulate the traffic based on, on those things. So the other thing that they've added is they've now added VRRP, so Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. So you can now have two of these appliances uh, working in basically high availability mode. If the first one fails, the second one takes over. And for a $199 appliance, that's fantastic. In fact, I've seen these as low from authorized resellers, and it's important that you buy from an authorized reseller uh, I have seen these as low in the last week as $149.99. So they are adding tons of functionality. The hardware can handle it, and it's going to keep coming. The other thing that they have is they also have HA now, high availability, if you're using these for your PBX. So you can have two of these, not only as a router doing VRRP, but your PBX can also have high availability mode with two of these boxes. And as soon as this firmware comes out of beta, I am going to do a video on VRRP and HA because it's fantastic. Um, so they added that. Then um, they the VPN settings are now retained after closing VPN. There must have been some sort of weird something there. DNS filtering now supports filtering by SNI and common name in the certificate. They've put a limit on the number of IPsec tunnels, so 64 tunnels. If you're going to go above that, you're probably going to need a bigger device. They have added support for connection speed tests with GWN Cloud. Uh, PPSK now, if you configure them in GWN Cloud, will now push down to the local device. We can now uh, set up outbound traffic rules under the firewall. Uh, so let's check that out. So we're going to go over here to firewall, and we'll go to firewall policy, traffic rules, and we can now set outbound traffic rules. IDS IPS detection is now applied to all WAN interfaces. You cannot exempt an interface. Under the firewall for scanning, they've added SMTP and POP3. So if we come down here to anti-malware, you can now see those are added here. And if you're using SSL certificates, you can also then scan inside of the encrypted version of these protocols. They've added the ability to schedule the automatic turning on and off of DNS filtering, web filtering, and application filtering could be useful. They have added support for GOIP filtering. You can see that here. I don't have it turned on yet. There's going to be a lot of videos on this as soon as it comes out. But uh, the other thing that they did was I had turned in a ticket saying that I couldn't manage my 6 gigahertz radio and my Wi-Fi 6 EAP. They have now added that. Uh, they had added the ability to assign the PBX an IP address outside of VLAN 1 or the default VLAN. We, uh, a couple of us found a little bit of an issue there, so they are working on that, but you can see that is coming. The FAST provision will now also include the PBX module's local LDAP phone book information, and then there were several bug fixes. So you can see they are going to keep adding functionality 
to this device. And this device is very inexpensive and provides tons of security, tons of functionality. And now you can run them basically in high availability mode. It's fantastic. So um, if there's anything specific you want to know about this, let me know down below. But I know some people don't watch the beta firmware, but I'm watching beta firmware like every day. I've been running this one for a couple days. I think it came out on December 6th, something like that. Uh, yeah, December 6th. And uh, my network has been uh, solid, but it's beta, right? So run it in a lab. I can't stop you from running it on a production network, but just be careful, right? Make sure you got to back up all that good stuff. And you can't, you can't downgrade the firmware. Once you upgrade to this, that's another important point is you can't roll it back. But if you got questions about this, let me know down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact page, contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to talk about this or anything else technology related, head on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up and start the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.